everyone and welcome back to Joyful Cookery and Delightful Meals. It's been a long time because um, the last time I did a video was all the way back in 2010. Anyway, moving forward, um, I've been thinking really to get in with regards to, especially we African people, really the way our foods are produced here. And most of them, to be honest with you, are not um, authentic. What they're telling us is in the package, it's not in the package. For instance, pounded yam is not 100% yam in the package. Um, Iweza, which is um, a um, Zimbabwean staple food, you know, um, made of maize meal, it's not um, authentic. This is just to mention bed fuel. Everything like fufu, everything. So what I did last week, actually, I did an experiment and I went and bought a um, yam tuba. So I've just cut it already. So basically, all you need to do is get a yam tuba. If it's cassava, you need to get a cassava tuba. If it's um, green plantain, one like to make fufu, get it, you know, tuba anything really i don't buy powder no more when i mean by powder i mean i like to buy the the whole like for instance this is um um because i prefer eating instead of eating gary i prefer eating um oats so i buy the oat which is oat and i blend it myself and i make it so we're just going to make it now so the yam you know whole yam because i've you can see i've already cut it so you chop it here yeah, and you blend it until it's smooth you see like this it's smooth so what you do you know you, you put it on a bring a, a saucepan it doesn't matter how many people you're cooking for so you remember you have a, a nice blender and you blend with water not too much water so, but you don't put any water in the saucepan please because i i completely forgot and i made that mistake that's why you didn't see the whole thing so what you do you do this yes and you stir yeah Keep stirring, please. The length of time should not put you off because it's see, one thing I've realized we often time, um, because of the length of time something takes to cook, you know, we don't bother no more. You do that and then you cover it, okay? You cover it, suppose you cover for a few seconds, then you come back because you have to keep, you know, you need a nice wooden spoon. You have to keep stirring it you can see gradually gradually it's taking shape you know for lovely pandan yam you know that splashed a bit you know and yes see they're pressing on there because you don't want it to go lumpy okay you don't want it to be lumpy okay so you just have to be patient okay because the more you're doing it and it's forming into a solid, you know, pace of the food. Okay. Pause. Pause. Okay, look, you see. Now you have a candle. Yeah? So you add a little pause. of water not too much yeah and cover to simmer for about let's say you know five minutes okay yeah okay so it basically come back you see this is for me because I don't like it too hard but once you leave it and cool down it gets harder okay and then basically EMT yeah. Okay, at the same time as well, the same way, you know, this is for the um, as you know, the um, green plantain, even if you can, you know, cut whatever you feel comfortable. You see, you see, gently, gently. Yeah, because I remember.
Thank you.